Hey guys, what's going on? Joe Monza here. So this is my front lawn. Doesn't look all too bad, does it? Looks kind of green, kind of full, kind of healthy. Well, that's just a small part of it. Take a look at the rest of this mess. Okay, we've had a hot stretch here the last few weeks. And what I want to do with you guys, I want to share some landscaping concepts that will prevent you from losing money in the future, in the fall, okay? Or just at any time in the future. I don't care what time of year you're, you're watching this here. This is late August when I'm filming this. All right, the lawn looks a little bit different from the Weiss Garden, all right? These Gerber daisies, I think they are. They're all up in bloom, looking good. See, my wife, she's in charge of the gardens. And I do the lawn. So she's been paying attention. She's been doing some good stuff. And by the way, I probably said this publicly, but I'll say it again. My wife rocks. Okay? But she's been doing a good job with the garden. I made a couple of messes here with the lawn. But we'll fix that up in a week or two. But um, I'm going to head inside here. Maybe we'll chat about what's going on how are we doing people I don't even know if you can see me or not let me get the door here probably gonna get a wild greeting from my friends here Hold on. hey there they are what's going on guys oh that's a good girl what's happening What's happening? All right, let me pay attention to you guys first. Right, Case? Right, buddy? Then we'll continue the video. Hey, guys, what's going on? I swear, I planned on doing the second half of this video in the house. But once I got in the house, got done playing with the pups, went to turn the camera back on, and the batteries were shot. So. I waited until I went out and got some batteries. And I said, what the heck, I'm in the car. May as well do it here. So here we are. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. All right, that lawn. God, that was ugly, wasn't it? Man, I can't remember the last time I let my lawn get like that. Okay, anyway, the reason the lawn got that way is I wasn't feeding it properly. I missed a couple of applications of fertilizer, well at least one anyway, and all of a sudden the real hot, humid, sticky weather set in, and then disease soon followed. The grass wasn't strong enough to take the stress. Guess what guys, we're no different. We're no different. We have to feed our minds properly. So when the stress comes, we can handle it. Now on a couple different levels. I gotta get the sunglasses here. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry guys. But when the stress hits, is your mind able to, to take it? Are you feeding your mind properly? Now it's on a couple of different levels. You know, first on the self-image, self-concept level. You know, if you're feeding your mind, all these different negative and self-limiting thoughts and beliefs that's what's going to come to fruition in your life nothing's really going to change now they can be imposed by you or others your co-workers your friends you know, your, your bosses whoever it might be okay you need to feed your mind with empowering thoughts Powering visions okay. so you can withstand the stress when the stress comes and also on a business level are you feeding your mind with the proper skills that you're going to need to make your business grow to make your income grow now I'm not just talking about how to use Facebook how to use Twitter how to write um, autoresponder letters, okay, about you know, any technical stuff with blogging or SEO, all that stuff's important, all that stuff's part of the business. And that helps you gather people, 
That's fantastic. When you have them gathered, what happens there? Can you communicate with them? Can you make them want to come back and see more of you? Can you listen to them? Can you really listen to their needs, their desires? And communicate with them in such a way where they then come to realize what you have is what they need. Because they won't buy from you until they like, they figure that out. Not you, not you convincing them, they have to figure it out. So if you're not feeding your mind with these core skills, these communication skills, what your prospects are thinking, how they're thinking, why they're thinking it, where are you going to find them? Learning how to listen properly to what they're telling you. Because they're telling you a lot more than you think. You just have to learn what to look for. Okay guys, that's it. That's my story for today. These concepts will help you like you can't imagine. Right? If you take the time to work at them. They're simple. They're very, very simple concepts, but they're not easy. Okay, it takes time. You gotta put your work into it. No system or gadget or tool is gonna do it for you. Okay, so take an hour at night, an hour before you get up for work in the morning. Okay, or maybe your lunchtime. Instead of going out with the co-workers, find a quiet spot, take a, a quick drive with your CDs, okay, put them in the car, listen, take notes, take notes, take notes, take notes, write it down. When you write it down, you etch it into your subconscious. You start believing it. Okay, because your mind's going, why else would you be writing it down if he doesn't believe it? Time after time after time, repetition. Alright guys. Again, hope it helps. It will if you apply it. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.